Everyone has a secret. Even you. Uh, the dynamic of this show, uh, having siblings, is always something that is interesting to see in a series because when you have the chemistry of realistic family, it makes a huge difference. And the four of you really do feel like siblings here. And Essie, I wanted to start with you. What did you find was the most challenging in trying to kind of find how this character fits within the family dynamic? I, I mean, I found, I guess, you know, being being my first uh, TV job, I guess probably the most challenging thing was kind of dealing with a bit of imposter syndrome and trying to trying to get over that and just think, no, it's okay. Like I'm, I, I we can do this. And but I think that the the sibling dynamic was really existed as much off screen as it did on screen. Like off screen, it was a lot a lot healthier, a lot more fun, <laughs> but just the way that everyone was so supportive and so generous and kind um, was really amazing and made even that challenge very doable. It so. honestly was probably one of the least challenging things of this show, playing the sibling mm -hmm. dynamic because we all clicked immediately and everyone, not just the siblings, but with Annette and Sam as well, we really felt like a family. We spent tons of time together on and off set, I think especially our offset time really seeped into the show and you can feel that we feel really comfortable with one another the way that you do with family members. And it really, it's it's jobs like this that are so cool when you kind of feel like, ooh, there's a little bit of magic to this because I mean, we did certainly have rehearsals where we talked in depth about the dynamics of the family and the siblings' relationships, but like that chemistry really was there from the start. And it's interesting, Allison, you've played so many characters in your career and you've played very different characters, but Amy feels unique compared to a lot of characters that you've played before. How did you find that? Was there any challenges for you in playing a character like this? Thank you for saying that. I totally agree. Um, it was one of the things that made the show really exciting to me, was trying to kind of stretch a new muscle. And truly, I feel like there's just none of Amy's DNA in any of the other characters I've played in the, from the way that she looks and moves and is in her body um, to the way she interacts in her relationships. And uh, it, for me, it was all about uh, tapping into Amy's emotions and her emotional honesty. She is like an open wound of a person, you know? I think she's worked hard to try to undo the the goal-oriented, competitive nature of her family and her upbringing. And so for me, it was, it was just all about tapping into that and really remaining open myself as an actor and as a person. And I feel like, um, some of her, even though she's highly emotional, she is sort of like breezy too as a person, um, no pun intended. Uh, <laughs> so I feel like there was something to also shooting in Australia, being in a new place I had never been before, wearing Amy's tattoos on my days off, where I got to embody some of that light and airy side of Amy more than I normally would in my real life. And Essie, I can tell you, don't worry about the imposter syndrome because you're you're really, really good here. But I got to ask agree. you. Yeah, I, I got to ask you, though, if that imposter syndrome went into overdrive when you have Annette Benning and Sam Neill playing your parents. I mean, I found a journal entry the other day from our first table read. And I was just I was just like, oh, my God, I can't believe this is happening. This is so crazy. But I think actually having having these legends and masters such as Annette and Sam and Allison and Jake, like who are so, so fantastic in the family, just actually made it so much better because everyone was so, yeah, welcoming and kind and understanding and, um, and you know, made me, you know, made, made us all feel so comfortable and like we could just be exactly who we are and not worry so much and kind of, yeah, I think, 
hearing that hearing that people of this caliber still have moments where they you know feel self-conscious or, or have a moment where they're questioning a choice they've made or something that that made me feel a lot more like oh okay it's gonna be fine <laughs> Well, I can definitely say coming from a family with two siblings, even though nobody has been kidnapped, disappeared, or accused of murder, you nailed the family dynamic. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. I said to my parents, don't trust her. I wouldn't listen. Thank you. Please help me. You think we're this, like, big, happy family? Oh. So th there's a lot going on in this show, and especially for your two characters. And Jake, I wanted to start with you. You, Your character's got the most contentious relationship, I think, with any other character, and you get to go kind of toe-to-toe -to -toe with Sam Neill. Mm -hmm. What was that like as an actor, getting to go up with Sam Neill? You know, <laughs> Sam is, uh, you know, first of all, a wonderful person and, and also a wonderful actor. And... Um, you know, he can sit in this stillness and then just kind of flick his eyes to you and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> you know, like you've built this history between these two people um, that is, oh man, someone who desperately wants their father to say like, you're doing great and you're good as you are, you know, and uh, never gets it. And um, and also then a man who does not know how to uh, express vulnerability or love to his children in a meaningful way. And um, yeah, it, it's always a joy to take such great writing and then have a partner to collaborate with who is present and thoughtful and up for anything and and right there with you and uh and that was true through the whole cast but but certainly the scenes where sam and i are you know really kind of up against each other and connor for you you this is, is a great cast so many great people in this and you all get kind of an awesome focal point the way that this uh, these episodes are structured what did you find was kind of the most important aspect of playing your character, like to kind of distinguish him from the rest of the family? Yeah, I think uh, it was so well put in um, in the storyline of, you know, tracking along. I think it was important for, for me to recognize his, uh, his comfort within himself. Uh, obviously, you know, there are challenges of you know, parts of yourself that you might look over and not pay attention to, but I think there was a real sensitivity that uh, to Logan that I really, really wanted to capture. Um, and, you know, his tenderness towards his family lays under all of his behavior. And I think his relationship with Brooke is a, a, a great example of that. And the connection between the two of us um, really, really shows the softness of Logan. And I, that was the most important part to me. Um, yeah, across the board, I, I just really wanted to get across, you know, Sometimes Logan can be paralyzed by his own indecision and inability to make a choice. But under that, I, I really wanted to capture a, a softness and a little boy, a, a boyish feature of him. And for Connor, for you, and I'll ask you after Jake, um, playing siblings, there's obviously a connection that you would want to make. Did you, the four of you kind of get together when you first were cast to kind of draw that comparison or did you just kind of, it happened when the camera started rolling? Kind of, it happened sort of before. Jake and Allison had come out to Australia uh, a few weeks before we started shooting and that gave us time to do some rehearsals. And through that there was, you know, you spend days with each other and uh, at work and you develop a relationship that is uh, interpersonal outside of, um, outside of, you know the work and that sort of it doesn't um it doesn't over overreach into the work but it just makes the environment of showing up every day uh a lot easier and i think that informs that supports what we do between action and cut uh, but for me I, I think it was a, a pretty organic sort of coming to and jake yeah. did you feel like the big brother on set um yeah i suppose <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean there's such a i don't know it's uh 
the dynamics between the siblings are so well defined in the writing and then the directors were um, very attuned to what those dynamics were and and how they were shifting from scene to scene or, or moment to moment and um, and that was really fulfilling to to I don't know create with one another um, and again because it's already in the writing it's not some uphill battle where you're going like none of this is defined and now I'm having to do the extra work to try to define it within the scene and also be true to this character and just be on their journey and make that organic like it's already there for you and so um we spent a lot of time uh together offset but really just because we adored being together <laughs> you know like i was so excited to see these guys flying in and to hang again and you know like it's not i don't know we got lucky that way and i i'm glad that it translated somehow into our our working together but um yeah it's just a joy you feel safe to to create you know what i mean you feel safe to mm -hmm. to have scenes where you're in support of one another you feel safe to have scenes where you're contentious or where you're revealing something and that's really only possible i think with people who show up and are are open to it you know either with the siblings or sam and annette as well to go like hey we're here for this ride like let's do it as opposed to i don't know being kind of closed off and everyone in their little silo nice well you, you definitely nailed it both of you are great thank you so much for your time today thank Thanks. you yeah thank you there's a violence in all of you so this character is so I don't even know how to describe this character because you don't know what you're going to get <laughs> from episode to episode. How did you figure out how to play Savannah? Um, well, we had the scripts um, and we had the scripts well in advance. Um, so that was helpful. Uh, Melanie's writing and having Melanie there, the, the showrunner and the writer, just constantly there for us to talk to and ask questions she made it that much easier to access this character yeah and along with a lot of my own personal research yeah so obviously without spoiling any of the great twists that are in this story did you approach playing this character as something menacing with like anything were you trying to bring anything to it to misdirect the audience or was this something that you really wanted to make this a realistic portrayal of somebody uh yeah i i, I wanted to make her real yeah for sure <laughs> 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 to make her real and believable and yeah like a three-dimensional yeah nothing no, nothing yeah uh machiavellian or anything like that um and out of all the characters in the cast that you get to interact with i mean we've got so many great performers here was there anybody that really like was wow i'm acting opposite this person i'm getting some good back and forth with this person uh, yeah i mean all of them all of the main cast were were amazing from from annette to se to connor jake allison sam like beautiful people wonderful artists and they all brought they're all so unique as individuals and as actors so they all brought something that was really engaging and and fun and interesting and yeah so grateful to have worked with them and with a story like this there's we're watching it as an audience there's there's the drama there's all of these different senses that you're getting from it behind the scenes was this a light kind of environment were you having fun with each other or was it intense uh yeah it was definitely fun yeah behind the scenes but there were a lot of days where there was really intense scenes that i had to kind of scrutinize and be very focused for so i would say the majority of like my my time was i was like oh laser focused and like would, would isolate myself so i could um stay sort of in character and in in all of the scenes that you've got i the thing that i noticed is that from episode to episode watching as we're learning more about this character for you, knowing ahead of time from the script, like what's going to unfold, did that change how you played scenes that are maybe taking place earlier in the series versus later? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It was very cool to have somewhere like to to go um, mm. and to, pl to plan it out basically with with Melanie and with her help and um, and, and with Chris and Dawn, and the, the, the directors. It was constantly like, where is she? You know, if we had a scale like from one to five, like, yeah, definitely. 
<laughs> and when you first got involved in this project, did you go back and read the novel? Is that a place that you started with or did you stick just to the scripts that were Melanie came up with? Um, as soon as I got the audition, I, 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 I was staying in an Airbnb and there was the book. There was actually the book just happened to be there. So I just started reading it and um, and then I got a callback and another callback and throughout the callback. So I was like, oh, I'm trying to get it read because I wanted to inform my 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 acting. Yeah, for sure. And uh, it, you share a lot of screen time in this with Annette. What was it? What was it like working with her? Is that something that like she was coming back to help inform your side of things, or what was it like working with Annette? I mean, she's such a legend. Legend, like you put it, you put it correctly. Um, no, she's a beautiful person and generous and funny and open. Uh, if I had any questions, I would ask her and she would always be so, so generous with her, with her thoughts. It was amazing. Like, honestly, so surreal. Dream come true. Yeah. And out of all of the, all the episodes, there's so much that happens. And there's the one episode that sticks out to me is when everybody's together watching the tennis match and it just kind of implodes and it's almost like there's some orchestration there. That's a scene that stuck out to me. What is like a one of your favorite moments for the Savannah character in this series? You haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> well, I'm definitely looking forward to it. I really enjoyed what I've seen so far. I can't wait to see how it ends. Thank you so much for your time. Beautiful. Thank you. I've seen Big Little Lies. I've seen Nine Perfect Strangers. Now we've got this. Leanne Moriarty obviously has a panache for telling this type of mystery with these large casts of different kinds of characters, but the twists are so unique in this one compared to those others. What drew you to telling this story? My agent had, I didn't read the book. This was, the, I got the galleys before the book came out. <clears throat> My agent sent me the galleys and I read it and I just connected immediately to it. I really did. I loved sort of the heartbeat of joy. I loved what she was yearning for. I loved her love her anger, her sense of neglect. Um, I, I thought it felt just very real and very honest. I loved that there were secrets in each of these characters at the heart of it. And I loved exactly what you said, that it, true to, to Leon's style in a sense, and what she does is this juxtaposition of like this driving mystery with deep character development. And I, as a writer, I was like, well, that's everything I love, you know, plus funny, you know, plus right. somehow funny. And it was both a, a, a profound challenge and a profound delight. You know, it was just really, as a writer, it's everything I love just rolling up my shirt sleeves, you know, for and diving in. Um, and I also thought it was a beautifully honest and complex story um, about the complexity of love in a long-term mm -hmm. relationship, what that means, what that looks like. And I think it's very interesting that I, I have two siblings myself and the dynamic between all of them is that you've got a couple that pair off with each other and are closer than the other two and they share those secrets. Was it important to make sure that you cast the right combination of actors to play these siblings? Absolutely. I mean, you just hit on something there. It's like the idea of alliances. So this yeah. is a com competitive family. Everybody's competitive, raised by uh, professional tennis players, each of them tennis players. And those alliances are quite dynamic, always alive and always shifting. And also in terms of like birth order, the older kids had a slightly different experience of childhood than the younger ones. So that complicates mm -hmm. it. Um, in terms of casting, exactly. Like to find these actors who were just obviously sublime performers who could land this complicated tone but who looked like and clicked like a family. And these, I call them the kids, the kids really did. Um, they started a family text chain before we started shooting mm. and they literally became siblings. The text chain is still going on um, and they are still in it. And it was a real, um, uh, just amazing to watch them get to know each other in the early stages of this show and then watch their connections and that sort of sibling and family dynamic blossom over time and deepen as the mystery deepens and as the character dramas and stories deepen, their relationships became closer and closer off camera. And I, I think it, it pays off incredibly on camera.
And I think the other thing that you hinted at that's really great about this show is that you we see so many shows that are deadpan, dead serious, and take this material like it is ripped from the headlines, law and order type of stuff. But there is a sense of fun. There's some lightness to right. some of this. Was that something that you felt was already in the source material and that you were able to pull that out? Or did that transform when this was converted to a, a production for screen? Great question. It was absolutely in the book. It had to translate and tra it had to translate and also transform into this medium because um, it was important. It's a very serious subject matter. A woman goes missing, mm -hmm. so there was no way I was going to put jokes in this, but it had to be funny. So how it had to be funny was in a very genuine, authentic way in terms of how these characters see themselves, see the world, how they irritate each other, you know, their own quips and quirks had to bring the levity. And what's the saying that like, uh, your family can press, why, how, why can your family press your buttons? Because they installed them. Mm -hmm. nice. And like the, yeah. they can, those kids can walk in a room and immediately, no matter how serious it is, someone's bugging somebody. And that the humor comes from that very grounded place uh, was really important. And the, there's obviously that core mystery that's introduced at the beginning, and we're trying to figure it out as we go. Did mm -hmm. you feel at any point that the mystery became kind of secondary to exploring these this family, or did you feel like it wouldn't have worked without that overriding mystery? I think they had to work together, absolutely. And there were times in the writer's room where I could look at the stories on the board and say, one is overriding the other. Um, and had to figure out how to recalibrate so that they were absolutely linked. Um, at times, of course, one does take precedence, but I think the temptation in something like this is for the procedural element to take over. And that's what I didn't want to happen. And I'm, I'm glad for that because it, it works so much with the way that the episodes are structured around individual characters and it unfolds that way is that you've got red herrings like a mystery, you've got Mr. X, but it all kind of comes together wonderfully. And obviously I can't wait to see where this goes, but I know this is going to be something everybody's talking about. Aww. And, you know, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. I really appreciate it. All right. You have Thanks. a great day. You too. Bye. Secrets will poison any family. And what you don't know can hurt you.